There's this kind of unfortunate hole that a lot of people fall into if they're talking about free and open source software or digital privacy, digital security, all this kind of stuff. A lot of people will get, the, they will bite that, uh, they'll go down that rabbit hole, okay? And they'll be interested in, oh, how can I do things right online? How can I be secure? How can I reduce spyware? All that kind of stuff. One issue that I find is that many of those people obsess with the technology Oh my goodness, open source software is so cool, all oh, encrypted, all oh, Monero, it's so cool, all this, all this technology is fantastic, ignoring the context in which it's used. And what I mean by that, it, well, here, here's my actual viewpoint. The absolute most secure way to do something is always not using the internet. Always, 100% of the time. You want to have a secure end-to-end -end encrypted chat? Well, talk to someone in real life without cell phones around. Okay. Do you want to uh, uh, buy something anonymously? Well, buy in cash. All of that exists in real life, and it functions perfectly. Actually, I was talking about this over the weekend. I did an interview with uh, Kevin Wad, who's one of those Monero guys. Maybe you guys know about him. Um, and initially, he disagreed with this point because I, he said something like, oh, my goodness, it's going to be so great. We're going to have Monero, this private cryptocurrency. If it takes over the world, we can all, you know, transact privately and stuff like that. And, you know, we won't have cash anymore and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, no, I don't want that. I, I absolutely don't want that because what that means, even if you have solid technology that actually really does, uh, you know, protect people's privacy, I want the option of being able to use something physical, some physical currency, some paper cash to transact with people. Now it can be a cash based on gold or silver, or even it could be based off a digital currency, but I always want that ability to be able to transact without a cell phone app, without a uh, connection to the internet. That is something that we inherently need. And most people, if they, they're really worried about personal privacy, they wouldn't be more technological and they wouldn't use more and more fancy equipment. They would be less technological and not use the internet and not use digital technology whatsoever. Um, over Christmas, I actually saw this pretty good video. Um, there's this guy on YouTube, Eli the Computer Guy. I've known that he existed for a while, but I watched, his one, I watched one of this video, these videos he did on Tor, or maybe it was I2P or something like that, and he made this really good comparison, and that is Tor... If you're using Tor to be anonymous, hey, that's great if it works. You know, there are, there are problems for, you know, there are potential vulnerabilities and things with it. But hey, if you're trying to be anonymous online, that's great. But what he said is trying to be private online is kind of like trying to encrypt yodeling, right? Because when you're making connections on the internet, you are, I mean, that stuff is all over the place. The, the amount of metadata leakage, even if you're doing everything perfect, is enormous, okay? So trying to use de digital technology in a privacy-respecting way is like trying to encrypt yodeling. I absolutely agree with that. That's a perfect analogy of his. Um, and so most of the time, if you need to talk to someone, right, is, should your first uh, option be, let me get this encrypted chat application and I'll use that? No, your first reflex should be, let's see, can I talk to this person in real life, right? Can I, can I wait until I see this person in real life when I talk to him, right? That should be reaction number one. And I absolutely don't want, what I don't want and what I'm, I'm worried about, especially when I see free and open source technology becoming this enforced standard, even if it's an open standard, actually, if it's free and open source as, as an enforced, enforced standard, that's arguably even worse because, you know, more people can build stuff on top of it easier than, you know, proprietary programs. And I'm very worried about living in a digital police state that's built on free and open source software, right? Technology can easily be designed to cause people problems, even if, you know, it could be wor worse if it's proprietary or something else like that, right? I mean, we saw a bunch of governments uh, try to develop contact tracing apps, and there are even a lot of free and open source people, even I think the Linux Foundation and uh, those groups of people uh, would fund projects for contact tracing apps that were open source. I don't give a crap if the dystopia we're going to live in is proprietary or open source. It doesn't make a lick of difference for me because I don't want to live in one of those dystopias. I do not want to have to be reliant on that kind of technology. And yes, when you're using digital technology, 100% of the time, use 
uh, free and open source software, use cryptocurrency, in crypto, in, encrypted, you know, private cryptocurrency like Monero, uh, use, always use the best technology if you have to use technology. But 90% of the time, I'm gonna go ahead and guess, you don't really need to use technology, right? You're just, uh, you're doing things as a replacement for real life that you shouldn't really be doing anyway. I mean, this is, this is half self-help, half privacy advice, but a lot of people just use the internet for, th for social things they shouldn't be using them for anyway, and it is a privacy liability. And the solution is not necessarily, not even necessarily to move to some super private social media site that is free and open source. I mean, that in some use cases, you could, you know, make a, you know, use that to an end and that might be helpful. But I think in most cases, people just shouldn't be using digital technology for most of this stuff. You are trying to encrypt yodeling. That's a, that's a great analogy. And uh, that's what you're doing. So that's just a reminder. If you need to touch grass, relax just try not to use computers that that's i don't know that that's basically what all of my videos are about right